glimpse inside the future Type 26, the Navy's incoming submarine hunter. Optimal configuration of the bridge just means bigger windows, but it's part of larger works on the new vessel. There's work to be done, but crews have plenty to look forward to. City-class ships like HMS Glasgow are still in development, BAE Systems using 3D visualization to build it before cutting steel. That means we get a virtual tour as they flesh out the real thing in Clyde. An integrated mission bay and hangar means crews can flex to almost any task, from counter piracy to protecting the nuclear deterrent. Unmanned underwater vehicles, boats, helicopters and disaster relief stores can be loaded on board without help. The main hangar can hold one Merlin or two Wildcat helicopters. Meanwhile, a new flight deck can now handle heavy lift aircraft like the Chinook, a step up from the Type 23's Lynx or Merlin. HMS Argyle, almost 30 years in service, is 133 metres long and weighs 4,900 tonnes. The Type 26 will be 2,000 tonnes heavier and closer in length to a destroyer at 149 metres and 5 metres wider than the current frigate. This ship's already used the new Artisan radar on the Type 26, good enough for British aircraft carriers. A new 5-inch gun will sit in front of the latest Sea Scepter anti-air weapon and at the heart of it all, an operations control nucleus. Entirely upgradable over time, using shared but secure platforms. The plan is to see the Type 26 roll out in the mid-2020s for a supporting role in the UK Carrier Strike Group. Tom Sables, Forces News.